after some discussion, uh, it's pretty clear that I have to do a somewhat better job as a chair here in making sure that we adjourn in a timely manner. Welcome, uh, Commissioner Higgins. Uh, How about being on time? He'll be coming back in a sec. <coughs> We're going to wait a moment till uh, the vice chair is uh, so Miss Miller. to join us. Miss Miller. Heather, okay. Right. Kind of lightly attended. Has he called the meeting to order yet? Uh, any discussion of the minutes? Okay. This man didn't even call the meeting to order. Backslash jobs. 
uh, and just enter public information officers. We were excited to uh, finally be able to advertise that position uh, to both county and non-county employees, and we're looking forward to filling that position sometime soon. Our uh, second town hall meeting will be held on June 10th from 10 to 12 p.m. at the Ward and Church, uh, located at 1177 West 25th. Another town hall. Uh, we do have flyers available for that out front. Uh, we'll place that up on our website. We're certainly hoping that everyone can attend uh, that meeting on that day. We have another town hall meeting scheduled for July 31st in conjunction with District 5 at the Lancaster Library. Uh, that's with Supervisor Barker. And as we get closer to that date, we will give you more information about uh, times and locations. That's going to be on Monday night. Then we have another town hall meeting scheduled on August 7th, and that's in conjunction with the National Immigration Law Center, who I think is here this morning. Oh, uh, brother. With her organization. Uh, again, that's going to be on August 7th. They have town halls for illegals, we'll but not for Americans. Our office received uh, approximately 96 to 100 uh, emails and uh, telephone calls concerning the drone issue. Uh, the drone issue will come back on our agenda next month. It won't be on the agenda today. Uh, there's still some internal work that we have to deal with that, but I wanted to let everyone know. I'm sure you all know because you do receive uh, many of those messages. I just want to point out that we hope to have it on the agenda this whole month. There are a number of things to be looked into, uh, and so that's an aspirational goal. Yeah, yeah. it is an aspirational goal. Uh, so uh, I just want to let you know that we did receive those, and I wanted to publicly acknowledge that we did, in fact, receive the file, uh, all those messages that we received. So uh, again, if you are going to attend members of the commission at the uh, uh, June 10th town hall meeting, please let us know. As a reminder uh, for the commission members of the public, we have to accommodate us approximately four commissioners in these town hall meetings. So that's going back to those from both the Brown Act that gives us a chance to have greater conversation. She's one of the social justice warriors. So please let me know right there. She's you attend, attend on June 10th. Uh, any questions on any of those announcements? Um, the um, small in um, Antelope Valley, what is the date of that? Sorry. I'd like to go to that one with Catherine Barger. Oh. And then the next week is Robin. Um, August 7th here in mid Los Angeles. Robin, your congresswoman is going to do a town hall in Santa Clarita. Outrageous. June 2nd, can you be there? It's a Friday. You absolutely, and any other constituents you know should need to be there. That is outrageous. What city is it in? I think Santa Clarita. And the radio guys, the triggering will be there. They're going to have a front seat. Because they, the triggering, it's a radio program. I was on it last week. But uh, yeah, we're coming for you, Judy. <laughs> How does Judy Chu feel about police issues? Does she care about her police? I'm sure she's for criminals. I'm sure she is. Yeah, the, the June 10th town hall is one that is sort of staff driven. There's no district associated with that. July 31st town hall is with District 5. And the August 7th town hall we're doing in conjunction with the community group for National Immigration and Law Center. It, uh, oh my gosh, that's offensive. Any other questions? I'm definitely going to speak against that. I think they're going to get through this a lot faster than they think. There's a proposed resolution, and I think we all the commissioners have had an opportunity to read it. Uh, it springs from a discussion that you mentioned at uh, this last meeting, uh, and following a presentation by Inspector General Manny Huntsman. Uh, I know the staff has looked at the uh, report that uh, the Inspector General made, I think going back to December of 2014, actually, with respect to the subject of transparency. And uh, desirability of the uh, Sheriff's Department uh, in furtherance of its own transparency goals to public certain at least aggregate data or information regarding discipline and shootings, category three uses of force and the like. So uh, I'm just teeing it up right now. We're going to have the executive director, I think, explain uh, to us uh, sort of the uh, further development of the proposed resolution and then we'll uh, have a discussion of the resolution. And you know what? I might want to borrow DeAndre's shirt. Hold on. I should have thought about that. Maybe if I spoke more loudly. 
Sorry, maybe I'm not close enough to the mic here. Is that, is that better? Okay. Uh, no, apparently this is not better. Right. It's kind of like you said it was like a muscle too. I don't think it's you, I think it's the... I can hear you well, by the way. Yeah. Um, but whatever, whatever that means. My mic's not even on you. That's right. So this is supposed to be a civilian oversight commission, right? So I have to ask everybody, what about DeAndre? He's a citizen, but he's gone. Did you get the gist of what I said, which is just that uh, I'm just trying to tee up agenda item 3B by saying that uh, it just didn't come to the proposed resolution, didn't just come out of the blue, it actually came out of a discussion uh, among this commission. What was and, the civilian commission uh, for him? The resolution uh, will be, uh, I believe, if, if the resolution in some form is 